Hello everyone, Hector here from All Hex. Uh, thanks again for uh, dropping by. Um, I'm trying to make as much content as I can um, and kind of just keep the channel going. I really want to push it forward. And, you know, even if I don't get too many subscribers, too many likes, I, 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 I'm enjoying making these videos, um, experimenting with new cameras. Uh, right now I'm using the, uh, the, um, the Kio Pro um, by Razer. Uh, I'm really liking it. Um, it's easier to use, of course, than the DSLR camera, my DSLR camera. Uh, it, it can be a little tricky having the ADD, uh, which it uh, has a lot of features, but it's getting a little older. It's not as um, as intuitive and you know uh, current as like say the V10 by Sony. I think that's a V110, VZ10. We um, or a ZV10. I, I keep forgetting the name, but um, it's one of the newer ones. My son has it. I bought it for him for his birthday. Um, I might test that next to kind of see um how well it records uh video especially like in darker places like in an office like here um i actually got a couple of nice windows but i keep them closed because it can get a little warm on the second floor um i have uh, a couple of cure pros like i said i'm trying to use those trying to see how grainy they came out if they freeze a little i used them before they were kind of glitching a little bit um i've kind of i think i worked out the kinks um, but anyway, um, I'm back and in this video, I'll be reviewing um, a precision screwdriver kit. Um, it's a portable kit that I bought off of Temu. Uh, it's similar to AliExpress. doesn't have as many things as AliExpress, but it's kind of coming up. Uh, but still one of those sites you kind of want to be careful with because, you know, you're getting these things from, you know, uh, uh, the other side of the world and it takes 40 about no, another 20 to 40 days to arrive um, and then disputing these kinds of things when you know you're not satisfied is really hard you kind of have to be very careful of what you're buying and um, you got to be really sure so uh, it's a warning right heads up right you're it's you might not get a refund if you're buying it like from Amazon you might find that Amazon something similar to this just about every other thing you can buy from Amazon that doesn't have name brand is usually coming from China however with Amazon you can not be satisfied with something just return it right whereas you're getting this from Temu or China um, which technically where Temu and AliExpress are getting all this uh, all this um, manufactured stuff uh, and you're not really gonna get a, a good uh, reply I I've done it before um, and usually don't win those disputes um, a lot of the times the vendors will you know give you a refund or send something back I, I've had replacements uh, sent to me but um, I found an occasion I can return something uh, luckily it wasn't a lot of money um, so beware guys but if we're trying to save a buck I bought plenty of things on Temu and AliExpress like keyboard pieces uh, switches keycaps uh, even keyboards and I have had no problems thus far um, so this is a tool for you know you can use it for anything I've used it on Steam Deck on my glasses on my son's glasses on toys uh, I've used it on keyboards obviously and it's a cool tool so I kind of just break it down for you kind of show you what's in this little small package and thanks a lot for dropping by all right guys welcome back um, I'm testing some new lighting I have uh, kind of a uh, uh, cool breeze kind of bluish tint uh, to this video trying to help out with the grain uh, get better quality so I'm, I'm you know apologize if you guys are seeing changes in the videos I'm just trying to kind of you know find the my, my kind of the perfect the perfect uh, scenario the perfect uh, scene and filter so uh, nonetheless uh, let's get into it so um, here is the precision uh, screwdriver set so there isn't any specific um, yeah, um, a name for it. So uh, here in a second, I'm going to show you um, the actual website of where I got it, which is Temu. Uh, but it was five bucks, uh, four dollars and some change actually when I bought this. Um, it was uh, kind of a deal going on that I found through Slick Deals. Um, but so uh, in order to get the you know the the shipping to make it worth it, I bought several of these. Uh, gave some away um, and then I also bought a couple of things like a USB hub uh, nothing too special um, but yeah they've gone back up to about 14 15 bucks uh, it's still a really good price um, especially you know what you get f for it right so it, it's definitely a pretty neat tool 
um, and I'll kind of have to show you how it works. So it basically just comes like this in the package, right? Came in a little box, no real um, manufacturer listed. Uh, it is from China. Um, so I'm sure there's several manufacturers that are making these and just kind of pumping them out to be sold on, on Temu and, and probably uh, AliExpress. I haven't checked AliExpress. I, I actually got this through Temu. Uh, I actually had an ad pop up uh, when I was on Facebook. The algorithm kind of uh, pulled me in uh, because I was looking for a smaller set. I was looking for, I was actually looking for an electronic one, a uh, battery chargeable one, but um, you know I didn't find one at the time. I'm still kind of waiting on it. I know there's one by Hoto, H-O-T-O. Um, that I've been looking at but um, this one here was one that I wanted to kind of get to keep you know underneath my desk in one of the drawers so I can easily grab it uh, I fix it to great they have an amazing tool set super high quality the problem is that while uh, it comes with a lot of stuff I feel it's tad bulky for just quick desk uh, setup like you know kind of building on a keyboard or or uh, kind of breaking it down uh, might not be for you but I have a lot of stuff on my desk and I'm just you know the less clutter they're better for me so uh, let's uh, let me show you how you open this up so you press it in actually right and that's it it slides out uh, there's nothing here it's hollow right so we'll put that aside and here is um, the bits right now this one's missing a little yellow piece I'll explain that in a little bit uh, so the quality is semi-decent, uh, better than, than I, I expected actually. Um, some of these bits are actually pretty well put together. Um, uh, and they're good quality. I haven't gotten any, um, any, anything that, um, it, nothing has kind of worn down or anything like that. I've had it for a couple of weeks. Uh, I've used it uh, several times already. Uh, but this is, uh, how you release a screwdriver. It's kind of neat actually. So you, uh, push these two tabs in. And then it pops out and that's it so here is the precision tool it has the kind of the standard uh, uh, kind of uh, loose uh, top here so you can do um, kind of uh, an easy uh, screwdriver um, turn without it really causing too, too much strain on your wrist so instead of doing this you can easily just kind of lean it against your hand and um, and just kind of screw screw in or screw out right so um it's i think it's made of of a, like an aluminum um or some type of die cast i i it, the packaging didn't say a single word about what um it came with i don't even think it came with instructions to be fair um so um so i'll show you what else it has so it has uh it they're actually colored uh la they're labeled so i'm assuming all these red ones here are like phillips uh type of bits there's also um they're also kind of numbered there like that one says ph1 i'm assuming that's just the the uh the number for this phillips um there's like this one's ph0 so they're different sizes uh we have these in blue are like the special um uh, version uh ones here like this one's a triangle and I, I know what all these are called to be fair uh but the blue ones are the special ones uh all these uh bl in black are flats uh, these yellows are these um, hex key uh, style, right? Um, and then these green ones are star, right? These star type of screws. These are the ones that have the hollow um, stars inside. And these are just kind of like the open, uh, all cut um, type of, uh, of uh, bits. So as you notice, that just kind of fell out. The magnets aren't that strong. I mean, they hold well. They don't shake off, right? But the minute you kind of you know hit one they'll fall off um you know you just got to be careful with them on this side we have uh again more special ones um these are kind of like the four basics i guess i'm assuming i have been uh taking these out um here i've only used several and put them back in like you can tell like i move some around um but it comes also with a prying tool which is actually funny because you got to pry it out a little bit as you can tell it's a little dirty here i've used it already I uh, was using it yesterday to kind of pry out some of these um, uh, the, the uh, switches on this keyboard out of the packaging. Um, so it comes with this the kind of standard prying tool similar to what you find in an iFixit set, right? Um, there's actually one of these uh, little uh, tongs. I don't know what you call them, but um, you can use them to, you know, just hold anything small. I, I use it to hold switches to kind of put them in towards the camera. 
Um, it has the, the typical um, like two points. It doesn't have a gr uh, it doesn't have grips. Uh, the uh, iFixit ones have uh, little line grips within the inside, so you hold on to something a lot stronger. It won't slip out. Like if you hold this, it kind of moves a little bit. The one with the grips are you know a lot better. So I mean, but you know you're kind of getting what you paid for here, right? So we'll pop this back in, uh, and then we'll add this um, this little. Um, I, I don't know what you call it. I, I the, the other one looks more like the uh, I fix it ones look a little bit more like tongs. Um, if you can you can tell, see, uh, there. I mean, it, the I fix it ones higher quality. Uh, it's obviously way bigger. Uh, I, I know I fix it has one similar to this. So, uh, but the points are a little curved. Um, so um, you can just kind of tell the difference. This one's a lot thinner. This one's a lot thicker. The iFixit tools are a lot thicker. They're higher quality. But then again, you're paying uh, 80 to $100 on a set. Maybe more, maybe less, depending on the size. I have the... Now there's the newer tier, the one with more bits. Uh, I had the, uh, the, the highest tier when uh, I bought them, which is about two years ago. Uh, actually, I got them as a gift. Um, but so they're definitely high quality. Uh, they're more expensive though. I pay four bucks for, for this whole set right here. So I can't complain. Um, so, um, so these are more like, um, I, I don't know how to call them. They're like tweezers, right? Uh, they're kind of like a mix of tweezers and the, the grip tool, um, where, because I know the iFixit one has tweezers as well but they're actually a lot more fine so it's kind of like in the middle i, I guess they're kind of either you know that they're dealing with the materials that they had or they kind of wanted to meet someone in the middle i don't know if they thought it that far in right like they were too deep in that thought that's a possibility i'm just kind of going with what we have here so i'm assuming you know they thought well we can't give them a full-on uh like these uh these um uh, grip ones but we also don't want to give them a super fine one where it's not very really useful so it's kind of in the middle you can grip something and then you can uh you know uh pick something with it and look and now i'm kind of like moving it around I'm, I'm parts are falling out um because you know you just kind of have to be a little careful with them it's still not a bad tool um so um it, it's because i have bulky hands my thumbs kind of just squeeze in there they you know they plop out uh but like my son has one he's used it uh, we've used to get batteries out, replace batteries on like action figures with like lighting effects and, you know, tighten up glasses. Uh, and they, this has worked out perfectly. We have one downstairs, um, or there's one that he keeps in his room and then sometimes he leaves downstairs. I keep this one up here in my office. There's a drawer right underneath my desk right here. There's a cabinet and I just keep it there for whenever I want to uh, use it. Um, you know, unless I'm really prying something open that needs uh, more kind of like, like a plastic type. Uh, prying mechanism uh, tool that or at least needs a plastic pry tool that's not going to scratch something then I'll pull out the iFix it set um, this nonetheless is pretty cheap um, in the sense that you know cost to what for what you get uh, I wouldn't pay more than $20 for this 25 tops um, I, I think how it's made is pretty neat right it has this cool thing when you release it it doesn't fall out when it's in there it feels like it would right because when you release it it kind of just slides out very easily right and I, it almost feels like it will fall fall out but it doesn't it stays in right um it's just a little tab in there i'm assuming that just as soon as you uh let it go it pushes it out because there's likely a spring at the very end of it uh, i'm not going to open up to check that out why would i right um but um then you you know simply just we toss it in with these uh tabs pointing up and uh, and that's it locks in right doesn't come loose I mean it's pretty well made um you know again the magnets are not that strong here so you know you start moving this around with your hands you're gonna knock these out um but i think you know they did a decent job now uh i was gonna talk about this little yellow bit so i thought at first that these bits were made out of plastic and they were kind of adhered to this they're not uh they're just kind of little pieces of rubber that easily come off you see that so um funny thing when i was screwing this uh this keyboard back in this stayed inside and i guess i screwed it into the keyboard and i'm gonna have to do that a little later i didn't realize it till later that it was stuck in there right <laughs> so um you know this is what you're gonna get right they're just gonna slide in these little cheap little rubbers they're not they're not going to 
you know, put on adhere plastic, you know, it, it's, and, you know, you can say they did that so you can swap them out and change your colors. Kind of makes no sense. I, I don't, wouldn't plan on doing that. I'm assuming it's just a cost uh, cut, right? Um, when these were on sale, I mean, they were like $4 and a few cents, right? So I'm assuming it takes like just a couple of dollars to manufacture these out in the, you know, mainland China, right? Um, whereas here, you know, I've seen these for about 20 plus dollars, maybe different versions of it. But that's where people are getting them from. That's where companies are getting them from. They're getting them from China and then sell them here for $20, $25 and making a pretty good profit, especially if you're buying them in bulk, right? I'm assuming if I'd contact one of these uh, manufacturers or sellers, they might be able to get me a bulk, um, you know, a price on, all, on like, say, 100 of these, right? Um, but, um, again, when this was on sale, the shipping was about 6 7 bucks, I think. And so it didn't make sense to just buy one. So I bought a couple of them and then I bought... A, a hub or something like that and spent like 20 30 bucks but you know i, I gave these away or i kind of uh, you know you know put them around the house um so let's go ahead and try just to kind of show you how easy it is to use right so i'm going to use I, i'm actually going to use the one that i know works uh because i use it on this keyboard uh this keyboard uses a um allen or a hex key type of uh of um of screw uh screwdriver um well, the bit required is uh, a hex, right? Because it has hex screwdrivers or hex screws. I'm sorry, it doesn't have, um, you know, standard screws. All right, so we're uh, gonna remove one of these tabs here, and um, so as you can see, it's a little gold screw uh, with a hex bit um, or a hex uh, requiring bit. So we're just going to easily take that out. Let's see here and that's it super simple um, really easy to use and yeah no issues whatsoever no uh, I mean it also depends I guess on the quality of the screw right um, but this screw is a uh, I guess it, it is also kind of a Chinese manufactured keyboard but it's well made uh, so they're using high quality screws um, but this isn't fading out at all it timed up really nice it actually might need a bigger one but actually it's good enough to to tighten this uh, this up, so here I'm just kind of using the little screw mechanism on top that you know I can that helps me um, spin it without using too much force, and that's it. Super simple. Uh, there's not much to it. I'm like I don't have to teach you guys how to how to use a screwdriver, right? Um, so yeah, um, again, nice quality. It's very lightweight. So I'm assuming it's it's a type of aluminum. Um, I would I would have said diecast, but it's not as heavy. Um, it's just it might be kind of hollow, so that's why it's not as heavy. Um, but that's basically it. Um, so um, I'm not gonna show you the site. I'm just gonna link it. Uh, I'm gonna link you to uh, the the seller who I bought it from, so you know that you at least you sure you're gonna get your merchandise. Um, you know, Temu is a lot like AliExpress, where you can easily easily get ripped off. You can buy uh, something you think is cheap from a you know from a seller and all suddenly your stuff doesn't show up and it's really hard to open up disputes with like temu or aliexpress it's happened to me i had uh i bought um some rubber grips for a mouse they never showed up uh i tried to uh get a refund a replacement and it just kept denying me and denying me and denying me saying that it was delivered that it was on its way and eventually aliexpress just kind of dropped the case so i pretty much was screwed out of that money but it wasn't a lot it was like six bucks um, so I kind of just bit the bullet because I buy a lot of stuff through AliExpress, you know, keycaps. Uh, sometimes I buy switches for keyboards. Uh, I bought a keyboard from there that I built. Uh, I'm going to probably do a video on that one because the keyboard didn't turn out to be that great. And, and it was nothing to do with the seller. Uh, it was just a cheap, you know, Alice uh, type of keyboard. Uh, you know, I was a little disappointed in that. But you kinda, you're kind of you kind of gambling, man. You're buying stuff from China. It's going to take, first of all, three to four weeks to show up, even longer. Um, and then you have a chance that it might not work. Now, I've worked with sellers where, like, a keycap has come back kind of warped or damaged. And I'll get it replaced within a couple of weeks. Yeah, you have to sit around and wait. But you kind of have to go in with those expectations and not wait and thinking that you're going to get this in two days. Now, Temun and AliExpress are starting to, you know, work with fast shipping now that the pandemic's over. And so fast shipping is still about two weeks. But not everything uh, has it, right? You're usually going to wait up to 30 days or more. Uh, but 
you know, these are the kind of things that you just buy and forget about, right? Eventually, they just show up at your door. That, that's what happened with this. I got my package. I'm like, oh, crap. I bought this, uh, like, over a month ago, and here they are. Uh, but, again, these are amazing. First of all, it's a really nice little cool concept, right? Um, how all these bits are kind of laid out very nicely. Um, we have, of course, you know, prying tool and these, uh, these little tweezers, tongs, whatever you want to call them. And, I mean, it's turned out pretty awesome. Um, and um, I think it's a great design. I've seen some other ones that look kind of like wallets um, that are more like a kind of rectangle uh, type of tool with a lot thinner or a rectangle case, but it's a lot thinner. It made about half of this. And they look like you can kind of slip them in your pocket as well, like a wallet. Um, and it has similar tools, right? Uh, almost exactly like this. And you could also find them on um, AliExpress or Temu. Uh, this one's back up to like 14 bucks. I still would say it's a good deal. Uh, I wouldn't pay more than 25 for it though, especially if there's shipping involved. Um, but just keep an eye on them because they, these go down all the time, right? I'm assuming they get a flux of, sh of, uh, of, of merchandise and you can't get rid of it. So then they go ahead and just kind of discount them to like four or five bucks. That's when you should buy a few of them and just kind of keep them around the house. Um, these have come in really handy. And again, these are mini screwdriver precision tool sets. Um, if you do a search, I'll, I'll put the link where I got this from or who exactly I got it from. But if you do a search on Temu, you'll see several. You'll see the flat little, you know, kind of wallet style one that I told you about. You'll see these, you'll see the electric ones. Um, and these, uh, right now are ranging between 13 to $15. Um, when they're on sale, they're all the way down to four or five bucks. So I'd keep an eye out, especially from this seller that I'm going to link in the description and um yeah that's basically it um so like i said this is one of the tools that i use all the time i'm using it lately i have used it to build this keyboard i have another uh alice keyboard i got up here you can't really see that i've used uh used it on i've used them on several other things like it like i said repair glasses um you know tighten up things open up uh small cases so this stuff um is pretty cool right this this little thing is really, really well manufactured um i love how it looks um, you kind of look at it from, you know, when it's uh, actually in its, uh, when it's set up and you don't even know what it is, right? It's kind of just sits underneath your desk, take it with you on, on you know, on a plane or traveling, uh, on a backpack or in your pocket or wherever. Um, especially if you're kind of handy, not necessarily with, uh, you know, like, you know, fixing uh, house stuff, but if you're kind of always tinkering with your laptop, your PC, uh, your, I actually used it on my, uh, on my Steam Deck to replace the battery, uh, um, uh, to upgrade the memory card. So I've used this plenty in just, you know, about a month of, of having it. So, uh, all right, guys. Well, so thanks for kind of tuning in and, and checking this out. Uh, I appreciate whoever, you know, likes my uh, my videos. And I really appreciate it if you keep kind of doing so. It'll, it'll kind of help stuff like this pop up more on your screen. Uh, the algorithm will catch it, right? Um, so I appreciate you guys. This is like only my fourth maybe third technically video uh, that I've that I've done for my new setup my new channel what I'm focused on doing which is mostly kind of keyboard enthusiast type of technology I have other things right that I want to review I have like the you know, Nintendo switch that's coming in uh, Friday which is in two days no actually tomorrow and I'll be doing other things like tools like this um, because you know we use these for uh, us enthusiasts we use them to build out our things and uh, we're all using I fix it and a couple of things, but if you know you're want to save some money uh, You know, you don't have the hundred dollars hundred fifty dollars um, And you're kind of building budget, you know keyboards um, These will come in really handy and they're cheap and they go on sale all the time. So I appreciate you guys listening in uh, You guys have a good one and we'll check you out next time